So I just finished The Book Thief by Marcus Sozak, and here's what I think. Now, most of you are familiar with this book. It has been around for years, and it has been recommended to me for years as well. And for some reason, I decided this week would be the perfect time to read it. And um, there are a lot of parts in here that were slow, and uh, a lot of parts that felt like it dragged. And while reading it, I was like, you know what? This is not really the pacing for me. But for some reason, after finishing it, I realized that those uh, parts or like that slow buildup really helped me build an emotional connection to these characters, which made like the hard hitting scenes extremely effective. So honestly, you know what? I like that. I, I like that it's a little slower at some parts and it's it's quite long as well. It's about 500 pages easy. Now, the story is historical fiction set in Nazi Germany. It focuses on LaSalle, a German kid who is exposed to the harsh realities of life at a young age, and we see her grow and deal with it as time goes on. Now, the other character is Max, who is a German Jew, and we see him go through or like suffer through things in Nazi Germany and, and just in order to survive. And it's all told in Death's perspective, which... Super interesting. Now, I've read books, seen movies, TV shows, played video games that are set in this historical time. For example, Schindler's List shows us the plight and the horrible acts of brutality that the Jewish people went through during that time. Wolfenstein allows us to play as a character wreaking havoc against the Nazi regime. The Book Thief now is set in a small, like poor German town. And majority of the characters in here are German people. And um, some are pro-Nazis, but there are a lot of characters in here who are just against Nazis as well. Other characters, like our main character, are, are just kids still trying to figure out what is right and wrong. And I think that is such an interesting perspective in a book like this, which... It's one of the things that I love about it because it, it allows us to see uh, the, the horrifying effects of war on the other side of the fence. Now let's talk about a narrator. Death at times reminds me of Ryuk from Death Note. I love how he, f he felt eternal. And um, I think just the author did an amazing job in finding the narrator's voice. Now, Death, at times, feels like the personification of a biblical entity, but there are also times where he felt like the literal definition of death, that he is, in, he is everywhere in, in each and every one of us. Now, we get like a, a somewhat weary death in here. There are times where he felt like, uh, you know, like, where he felt like death, like all-knowing and biblical. And there are times where he just felt curious and almost childlike because like he's trying to understand human beings and that is such an interesting take on a character like death now the way he talks is beautiful it, it doesn't feel too heightened or poetic or lyrical it it felt like how death would talk it's not too casual as well um i also love like his little sarcastic uh judgmental comments about human beings I just find that fascinating. Now, reading about World War II in history books is different. Sure, we get to see all the atrocities that the Nazis were like doing, but it felt zoomed out. It, it's not as personal as this one because in here we focus on like one uh, Jewish person and we get to really like zoom in and focus on his life and how it affected him, not just physically, but also like mentally. And like it changed his personality. Like imagine thinking that food scraps that nobody else wants is more than you deserve. Dude, that is just absolutely fucking heartbreaking. I imagine like going from like a, just a regular person into like thinking like that. Ah, dude, that is just, that is the beauty of this book though. I think it focuses on that. It focuses on one character. It focuses on that as, as opposed to like seeing like the bigger picture, like the zoomed out like version of it. And we see like, yeah, they're doing all this horrible shit. 
it's bad it's bad but here we get to like feel it now i love the little moments in this book that uh, allows the characters to sort of take a breather and forget all the horrible shit that's happening around them and it, they're like brief little moments um like playing in the snow like all things we take for granted i take for granted like if someone asks me to like hey let's go play in the snow i'm gonna be like fuck off but this book or like those scenes really put that in perspective which that sounds mean but yeah i, I ain't playing in no damn snow it's crazy how like the events of world war ii affected these people as well um i am by no means comparing this to what jewish people went through during world war ii but i think death said it really well like these people have a chance of survival those people in those chambers have zero chances of survival but with that being said it's it's still horrible what these people went through during that time and it's so easy to dehumanize the enemy when we're reading it in history books because again it's like it's us versus them um but you know like reading this book it's like yeah you're reminded that well, yeah, they're human beings too. They're not all Nazis in there, which is just sad to see. For example, in the last bookshop in London by Madeline Martin, we get to see how these people in like uh, in London were affected by like the bombings or like the air raids by Nazis. And it's like, it's so fucked up. And you're like, fuck the Nazis. And I mean, obviously like fuck the Nazis, but you're kind of like, fuck the Germans or whatnot. And then in this book, we see um, like this poor little German town being bombed by the allies, by the good guys, by us. And it was like, it's such a fucking horrifying experience because like, wait, 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 we're supposed to be the good guys. What, what, are, what are we doing? And it's sort of like, it fucks you up a little bit and puts, it really puts things in perspective where it's just like war is just so fucked up. Nobody wins. So if you haven't read this one, if you haven't read The Book Thief, I highly suggest, highly recommend it that you pick it up and uh, and see if it's for you. Because I, I, I had like a blast reading this. That sounds fucked up. It's an incredibly sad story, but I had fun. No, I, I enjoy it. No, wait. I read this and it, it affected me and I liked how it affected me. As I've said, it's a little slow at times, but I think it's extremely worth it. So yeah, I'll see you soon and peace.